Okay, so this is the idea going forward as long as it lasts. I'm going to do a six day a week program, upper lower, upper lower, upper lower, and um, each day begins with on the upper day dips and on the lower day the Roman chair squat. So they're relatively similar movements, I suppose, because they both move the body through through space and they rely mostly on body weight for loading. Having said that, I am going to load them to the extent that I can. Uh, the idea is 10 sets of 10. Uh, the reality is, is what it is, but the idea is 10 sets of 10. Now, now I realise that uh, 10 sets of 10, 6 days a week, that's a hell of a lot of volume. And the reality of it is that um, I don't really see it as a, a program for building muscle per se. I think, I think it, you know, it's, um, it may do, it may build some, it may, it may preserve muscle, but predominantly the idea is to run it in tandem with the um, fat burning diet. So the main idea here is uh, it's not really anabolic, it's catabolic, or it's preservation of muscle in the face of catabolism. In other words, fat burning. Okay, so I'm not going to record all these, you know, millions and millions of um, workouts in their entire, entirety. What I think will work as um, some sort of guide, some sort of um, instrument to tell me if this is going the right way is just to use the first two exercises, the dip and the Roman chair. And, to, and if they're on track, I'm going to say that the whole thing is on track. So regardless of the other exercises, if the dip and the Roman chair are progressing in some way, then it's working. When, when those fail to progress, then I think I'll likely change up the exercise selection. But we'll see. Okay, so last time, last time I did dips, I don't know if you can see this, it's probably, probably, I don't know. Can you see that? Where it says upper at the top, dips, and it went something like 10, 10, 8, 7, 6, 6, 6, 5, 5, 5. That's on the minute. Now, I, 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 could, I could stick with pure body weight and simply increase the reps, but since I got two sets of 10 last time, I don't want to go beyond 10. I am going to use on the first set or so, I'm going to use a little bit of weight. That'll just be the first set. So rather than just uh, get 10 relatively easy reps and cap it at that, I'm going to use a little bit of weight. And I'll probably just use the weight for the first set or, first set or two, and then I'll go body weight again. Okay, but it should make some sort of sense in the long run. So the first set on the EMOM when it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to use this, uh, you can see seven and a half kilos, probably a bit much really, you know, could probably get by one kilo. Oh, you, no, it's just, this is, just happens to be set up from a, a while ago when I was doing chin ups. Seven and a half kilos set up. Just give it a few seconds. I'll get the first one out of the way. Ah, oh dear. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, that's 10 with 7.5 kilos. This is all, this is all EMOM on the minute. So I'll keep the weight on for the next set. Probably not get 10 again.
Here we go. Eight. So I didn't get ten, so the weight comes off. Okay, last time on the third set I got eight. But obviously, this is a little bit more difficult because I've just done two harder sets. So I should get eight again. That'll be a that'll be a success really. Eight. I like to do it. I think it's less strain on the shoulders and doing bench press all the time. Because the first two sets are harder, and I get another rep. So last time I got seven on the fourth set, so this one's going, I'm going to go for eight. Beat the numbers, that's what it's all about. Pretty objective measurement. Beat the numbers, you know what you're doing. Beat the numbers if you can, ideally. It's a good honest movement. You know, you're getting the uh, relative strength factor. You know, anybody can become a big fat whale and do heavy benching. But when you're actually moving your body, that's a slightly different story. I find it more more honest, more athletic. And less hassle as well, less hassle to set up. I mean, what do you do? You've got a dip station. Maybe load it up with a small amount of weight or body weight, it's good enough. Okay, so what's this? One, two, set five. I've got six last time, so seven will be great. You'll see people loading the dip up with huge weights and getting one or two reps. It does, I find that very ugly. You know, they're sort of like shaking and straining, you know, and getting this one rep. It looks, it looks like something's going to pop, looks like something's going to get injured. I, I think it's a, it's a wrong idea for these body weight movements, but I don't know. Obviously, you can load them, but I, I, I essentially see them as a body weight movements and I don't think they're good vehicles for one rep or two rep maxes. Here we go. Last time I got six, so I'm hoping for seven again. Yeah, there's something about dips and chins, chin ups. I mean, I find them 
tough exercises. They're not, they're not jokey exercises. They're tough exercises. But they're, uh, they're telling the truth about your condition because you're moving your body weight. Here we go. Seven, nice. Not easy though. Okay, last time, it was a quick fade away to sets of five. So for the last three sets, I've got five, five, five. So hopefully I'll get at least one six. So I'll get one six and then maybe fives. That's a, a solid victory for today. And uh, the progression carries on. So you'll notice it's only, I'm only taking 48 hours between sessions. So it's Saturday today, the last time I did this was uh, Thursday. That's it, up a lower, up a lower, up a lower. Six. Yeah, so this looks like it's going to be a success. Two more sets left. Five or above. And it's a winner. When I win a chicken dinner, day off tomorrow, probably go for a short jog, easy peasy zone two, or maybe a short jog and a short bit of rowing, mix it up, less strain on, on the knees, So five, five will do, five will be good, six will be better. And it's six, and six was better, excellent. Last set, time flies, we have having fun. You can see a lot of glare. You don't pump up much on this diet. I mean, I had a few calves yesterday. Uh, I had some bad calves actually. I had some yogurt. Uh, I know Geronda, he, he prohibited uh, dairy products on, on his diet. success I'm going to say. I mean I did the first two sets weighted so that added to the fatigue level. Don't know if I can get rid of the glare at all. I uh, block the window light somewhat. Does that make any difference? Probably not. Maybe a little bit. Anyway, yeah. So, Gironda said that dairy is not good on a definition diet. Uh, but the problem was before I began, you know, like a fool, not, not preparing, I had, uh, had six yogurts in the, in the fridge. And uh, yesterday I got rid of two of them, I ate two of them. You know, the uh, low fat things, cheap. I mean, a good source of protein. I think two of those are 50 grams of protein, but as I say, going to Gironda, it's not a good idea. So going forward, I won't repeat that. However, that's it for today. Thank you very much. We'll see you very, very soon.